as we know oracle requires a minimum of two groups each with at least one member as is clear from this sketch so the database has two redo log groups online redo log groups each has one member this is the minimum re requirement for an oracle database to function so the log writer can switch onto the other one and uh, and, and and keep on writing in a circular fashion you can also add more members to each group so you can have a configuration something like this so in this situation database has two two groups and each has two members so the log writer background process writes to both members simultaneously it synchronizes them and keep them up to date a member is simply an online redo log file that holds information that can be used to rebuild a database in case of instance failure so in our example we had two redo log groups to start with with one member in each group and in the in one of the last videos what we did we simply added another group to it what we can also do we can also add more members that we will learn eventually in uh, probably next probably in next video but we'll first learn about log switch sequence number and also statuses of redo log files because they are very important things to understand a log switch is an act usually performed by log writer background process and it happen it usually happens automatically as and when needed as a result of log switch log writer stops writing to one log file and starts writing to another normally a log switch occurs when the current redo log file is full and writing must continue to the next redo log file however you can configure log switches to occur at regular intervals regardless of whether the current redo log file is completely filled or not log switching impacts performance of your database and you also need to understand it in details in order to troubleshoot you can also force log switches manually at your will and you might have to do that in a few situations we will we'll learn how to do that hopefully in this video it is also important to understand that oracle assigns a sequence number to each redo log file every time a log switch occurs this is known as log sequence number and that number is very important for recovery log sequence number identifies each redo log file uniquely during recovery database applies redo log files sequentially with the help of log sequence number so these are the things that are very important to understand and so i'll connect to the database with the help of sql plus as sysdba and our favorite sql command prompt is in front of us in last video we learned that two data dictionary views v dollar log and v dollar log file are two important data dictionary views that can provide us with important information so this time again i'll, I'll use this data dictionary view v dollar log and i'll say select group number sequence number the sequence number that we were talking about earlier in the video and members and status from v dollar log I'll run this statement and we can see we have three groups there were two groups to start with we added another group and this is the third group now we can see log switch has occurred 161 times in my database and we can see each group has one member and the status of group number one is current the log writer background process is currently writing to this group group number one we can manually force a log switch and the statement is alter system switch log file system alter and I'm pressing up arrow key if you run this statement you'll notice that the status has changed of the the members group number one is active now it was current before what it means that the log writer process although is not writing to this group but the data is still required in case of instance failure so if instance had to fail at this moment at this minute the database the oracle database will use this redo log to recover the database at the moment 
the log writer background process is writing to the group number two and it has changed the sequence number it was last sequence number was 161 when we ran the last command before the log switch and after the log switch a new sequence number has been assigned to the current online redo log this is inactive inactive means that this data is not required for instance recovery now we also want to find out with the help of this data dictionary view we want to find out the location of our redo logs so select member from v dollar log file and these are the locations and names of the redo log files so all three files are located on drive c which is technically wrong if i lose this hard disk drive i'll lose the the log members but we'll see how to multiplex them in future thank you very much